So I'm currently waiting for my Uber driver to come pick me up to take me to the Tesla station to pick up my car. Uh, I am a little bit late because I got off work really late today. Uh, hopefully it won't be a big deal. And uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I hope the quality and everything in my car, I'm not gonna get any serious quality control issues with Tesla, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated and uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Yeah, I'm right, so. Eight to ten grand? Yeah. No way. So I was like, you know, when I fill up, it's like, yeah, no big deal. Yeah. Yo, can you believe we actually got picked up and dropped off by a Tesla Model 3? Thank you. Our Uber driver. Yo, so we just arrived at the Tesla place for pickup and I think that's my car right there. I'm so excited. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. Let's go check in and see what's up. That's her right there. All right, so we just finished checking in. Relatively simple process. Uh, I just showed them my, my ID and they make sure on me and it's only where my car lot is i'm pretty sure i don't need that i don't really think i need any sort of uh telling me which number my car is as uh there's only one red model red 3p around here well except from over there So unfortunately there were some problems with the car. Um, There's some scratches on the panel, front panel, side panel of the door. Um, There's also some scratches above the door handle on the driver's side. There was some slight paint damage on places as well. So I told them and the tech came out, took a look at it, tried to buff it out, but it didn't work. So they're taking a look in the back and also they're gonna take a look at some of the stuff that I mentioned to them. Some of the panels maybe possibly being a little bit too wide. Ask them to take a look at it. He said just to wait here, uh, it'll be maybe like 15-20 minutes. He said the paint is not a big problem but it's more of like the panel gaps on the rear windows that were I thought were a little bit wide because I could fit my whole finger in there. I don't know if that's normal but I'll keep you guys posted.
So that concludes the video for today. I'm so excited I picked up this car. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful. I think that ties that Tesla did a really good job fixing it up for me with the small problems that I had. For the most part, I don't see that many more problems on the car. I did take a look at it pretty thoroughly. I'll leave a link down in the below for the checklist that I used when I picked up the car so that you guys can take a look at it and use that for reference as well when you guys pick up your Model 3s. I did buy a lot of accessories already for my car. I'm gonna go home and install some of them and I'll give my opinion on them and do a little review in the upcoming videos. So if you guys are looking forward to that, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the, my channel so that you guys do get notified when I upload those videos. I'm excited. I already have an appointment this Tuesday to go and tint my car. So I'm gonna be posting a video on that. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you guys do get notified when I upload those videos and follow me along my journey of owning a Tesla, guys. I will try my best to keep it educational, be entertaining, be informative. All right, guys, I'm gonna drive this guy home and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.